many illegal immigrants would you estimate your administration has released into the country over the last three and a half years? Well, I'm glad you raised the issue of immigration because I agree with you. It is a, it is a uh, topic of discussion that people want to rightly have. And you know what I'm going to talk about. Yeah, but right do you, now, just a number. Is, do you but, think it's but, one million, three million? Brett, let's just get to the point. Okay, the point is that we have a broken immigration system that needs to be repaired. So your and, Homeland Security Secretary said that 85% well, no, of apprehensions... I'm not finished. I'm not finished. We have, a, we have it's an immigration system... It's a rough estimate of 6 million people have been released be, but, into the country. And let me just finish. I'll get to the question, I promise you. I was beginning to answer. And <laughs> when, when you came into office, your administration immediately reversed a number of Trump border policies. Most significantly, the policy that required illegal immigrants to be detained through deportation, either in the U.S. or in Mexico. And you switched that policy. They were released from custody awaiting trial. So instead, included in those were a large number of single men, adult men, who went on to commit heinous crimes. So looking back, do you regret the decision to terminate Remain in Mexico at the beginning of your administration? At the beginning of our administration, within practically hours of taking the oath, the first bill that we offered Congress before we worked on infrastructure, before the Inflation Reduction Act, before the Chips and Science Act, before, any, before the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, the first bill, practically within hours of taking the oath, was a bill to fix our immigration system. Yes, ma'am. It was called and, the U.S. Citizen, and, Citizenship Act of 2021. Exactly. It and, was essentially and, so, but, but a I, pathway I, to citizenship for the... Finish, yes, may, I finish, may I finish responding, please? But, here, but, this, but you have to let me finish, You please. had the White House and the House and the Senate, I'm and they the didn't bring up that bill. I'm in the middle of responding to the point you're raising, okay. and I'd like to finish. Yes, ma'am. We recognized from day one that to the point of this being your first question... It is a priority for us as a nation and for the American people. And our focus has been on fixing a problem. Now, when she says fixing a problem, they've made the problem worse. I think this is what infuriates most people. You guys let the border open. That guy calls it out very astutely. No border bill would have mattered. And that happened after Trump denied by the Senate. But why don't you just have the remain in Mexico policy? Why don't you just close the border? Why don't you just build the wall like when we already paid $5 billion for materials that were just sitting there on the ground that you guys were calling Trump a racist and didn't want to build the wall, which seems ridiculous. I, it's laughable when they say, oh, well, yeah, that's something we are trying to fix. Fix? You're like, huh, hardly. You guys have made the problem worse. That's like obvious. I think these are the kind of lies that frustrates most people when they listen to this. And it's like, you're not honest at all. You're not. Everything comes out of your mouth is like a lie or some spin in a good direction. But every time you listen to them, it just gets worse and worse and worse. That Vice is President, more turning than the page. percent of people That is about pollsters. turning the page on rhetoric that people are frankly exhausted of, Brett. More than people 70% are of people tell the country is on the wrong track. They say the country is on the wrong track. If it's on the wrong track, that track follows three and a half years of you being vice president and President Biden being president. That is what they're saying, 79% of them. Why are they saying that? If you're turning the page, you've been in office for three and a half years. And Donald Trump has been running for office. But you've been the person <laughs> holding on, the office. Come on. Madam you vice and I president. both know what I'm talking about. You and I both know what I'm talking about. I actually don't. About. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is that over the last decade, People the have become, power. but listen, over the... So what everybody think, man, Kamala did horrible in this interview. You could tell she is just not prepared, honestly. I mean, this looks so bad on her. She can't even answer a question. I think what makes most people frustrated is you don't answer any question. You basically just blame Trump for everything. We want to hear how you can do things better, not Trump this, Trump that. I mean, she's a disaster. She doesn't answer anything. I don't understand why anybody would want to vote for this person. I think the Democrats are in real trouble, but who knows? They're a crafty group. Who knows what they'll try to pull on Election Day? Nobody knows, but what do you guys think? Um, if you guys like these videos, like and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel, and you folks have a great day.